Hello, welcome aboard the game wonderful community. From the briefing through you've clearly seen and the title of the video, we are going to be seeing the three major type of echo that we'll be using as DJs. Whether have to start up a song, especially for transitioning purposes. First, if you're having my mapping, this issue is going to be a very straightforward one. We don't need so much to be explaining about the mapping. Straightforward, let's get into the business of the day. You first have this caps lock, look at it. This caps lock. That is the character that takes care of changing your alphabet from capital letter to small letter. Look at it here. First, when you are using the mapping, there are two steps that are involved. Before you echo out, you press it for the first time, then wait for like a second, then press it for the second time. It's going to give you that echo out effect and it's going to stop the track. That's the one good thing with this. The first press will start the echo out. The second press will allow the echo out to continue while the song comes to a pause. That is what this caps lock does. Let's get to see it in practice. Look at it. One, two. So you go one, two. So you pick a particular track where you want the echo to repeat itself this way. You now do one, two. So it's going to pick that particular track and be saying it uh, 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 continuously and it will go out. Then that is it for the caps lock. The second form of echo out that we are going to be looking at is this that is control comma so this control comma in its own case well let me do the demonstration then you get to appreciate it look at it so in this particular case it will pick the part of the song and it's going to be repeating it and the volume will be going down gradually 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 just the way you clearly saw just now look at it again So you don't need so much hassle in this case this one is just by the time you hold the control or command then you press this once it will do it will do the whole job for you then the next form of echo out is going to be a loop kind of echo out look at it in this case you have you are going to be having a combination of the loop possibly a quarter loop plus this so we are going to do it you get to see it you pick a particular point in the track you continue to reduce the loop by half until you get to a quarter loop or half loop then you will now go with this. Look at it now. One, two, three. So you can clearly see how beautiful it is. So in this case, you pick a particular point, you reduce it continuously, look at it to a quarter loop, and then you introduce this in this case you are going to press this key two times you press it for the first time after a second then you press the second the second time so the reason why you are pressing these two is the first stage you are introducing the echo out and then the second stage you are pausing the song so that the echo out can play along continuously to the end of the song so that is the essence of this so you can see everything very simple and straightforward so that is the beauty of the whole of this so the effect especially for the loop you can actually go to your loop setting here and then pick the echo out effect then adjust it by the time you click this dot here you are going to see all the necessary parameters you can adjust it to your own taste maybe based on the type of track you are playing you play a lot so catch you in my next video let's enjoy it again 